to the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. I don't. They talk and they talk, but I do not. What's up, guys? Youngster Gamer here, and in this video, I'm bringing you uh, Let's Play Pokemon Go number one. Um, a lot of people were suggesting Pokemon Go. But where I live, as you can see, there's not really much around. No Pokemon nearby, no Pokestops, nothing. So I went ahead and let me go and go to the shop. I went ahead and put five dollars into the game just so that I could buy some incense for you guys so I can actually do a video on this game. So um, if this video gets to 50 likes, um, I will actually go outside um, my friend's house. He actually has a bunch of Pokestops nearby, a lot of Pokemon. So if this video gets a 50 likes next week, I'll go to his house and we will uh, play it. I'll actually do a Let's Play number two on Pokemon Go if this video gets a 50 likes. So uh, let's just go ahead and buy the eight incense. And to the right of the video, I'll put what incense number we are on. So let's go ahead and exchange. There we go. So now we got eight incense okay so let's go ahead and use incense number one there we go last 30 minutes and there we go it says we're on incense number one now we just gotta wait until Pokemon start appearing and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stop recording and as soon as a Pokemon pops up on my screen I'm gonna resume the recording just to save time and um, so you guys don't have to just sit here the whole two and a half hours this video is gonna take to make Okay, so Pokemon spawned in. Um, there actually was a Pokemon spawned in before the Clefairy. I can... There we go, it looks better. Alright, there actually was a Pokemon before this Clefairy, but it was only there for like a minute, and I didn't click it in that minute, so it disappeared or something. Um, doesn't really matter. I don't have a Caterpie yet, but I'm sure in the sixth instance we'll see another, so let's go and... Uh, there we go. Spin the ball into him. It seems like it's easier to catch him like that. Like, you can spin the... If you get the ball spinning and you throw it at him pretty much wherever you throw it, it seems like it's going to curve into him or wherever it lands it's going to catch him so um caught the clefairy was that my first clefairy i think so yeah because it says registered pokedex so that was my first clefairy with a cp of 80 hopefully we can get a decent like um a decent pokemon cp i just hit level five as well but so far from like the couple incidents that i've used like the two i did the starter ones that you start off with, those two just gave me a bunch of like under 80 CP Pokemon. So hopefully that like that's not every instance. Hopefully like this instance is gonna give like uh, maybe a thousand CP somewhere in between like a hundred and a thousand. Um, I'm also gonna look up if lure modules is better than incense. As far as I know, the only difference is lure modules is for everyone in your area, and incense is just for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just uh, pause the recording and resume whenever another Pokemon spawns in. Also, if you guys are wondering why my character in the game is a girl, that is because I made like 10 different Pokemon Go accounts, and each one I just, you know, randomized the character, and um, whichever one was luckiest, that's the one that I was going to stick with, and this account ended up being the luckiest account, so I went ahead and stuck with it, and, ended up, and it ended up being a girl, and it seems like girl accounts are luckier for some reason, but um, yeah, that's just, if you guys were wondering why my character is a girl, it's just because of that, it was just random, and... I can't change it so again just gotta wait for this third Pokemon to spawn in we've only caught one the first one I missed but we gotta wait for the third Pokemon to spawn in okay so the third Pokemon popping up is a uh, Oddish let's go and just catch this Oddish let's check the CP on it's not loading up okay there we go a wild Oddish appeared is it CP of 46 um pretty much useless unless this is my first Oddish there we go, we got a great catch, or got a great throw, and a spin, so that's definitely going to give me some bonus XP. That's another reason why I spin the ball before I throw it, is because it actually gives you more XP. It's not listed right there, but if I didn't get the great throw, it probably would have uh, showed it. I think it says, like, somewhere right here, it says, like, a spin throw or something. But yeah, I got 650 XP for catching that, and that was my first Oddish, so two new Pokemon so far. Let's go ahead and... Uh, there we go, wait for the fourth Pokemon. There we go, it's showing me right now, level 5. Got 20 Pokeballs, 10 potions. I didn't read what else that was. I need to go ahead and uh, check what that was. Okay, so it just gave me 10 potions, 10 revives, uh, 10 Pokeballs. And I think that's it. That's the only thing in my item. Maybe it gave me an egg. Let me go and check, see if it gave me an egg. No, okay, so it didn't really give me anything. I already had the egg. But let's go and wait for the fifth Pokemon to spawn in. Or fourth. 
Okay, so our fourth Pokemon spawned in, and also, after I stopped recording, I went back and checked the video to see what that actually was that I got on top of the potion and revives and Pokeballs. It was actually uh, incense, so I got one extra incense. So now that's going to make a total of nine incense for this video. There we go, got the catch, but I didn't get a great throw, so maybe it's going to show the spin thing I was talking about. So I don't think that was my first Weedle, but it might be. Uh, Pokemon caught, didn't, nothing, so just 100 XP. Yeah, definitely wasn't my first Weedle. Only a CP at 34. I think I have a more uh, stronger Weedle than that. If I catch one more Weedle, I'll be able to evolve a Weedle in this video. Get him to uh, Kakuna, I think it is. So now I gotta wait for the fifth Pokemon to spawn in. Got 12 minutes left in the first instance. Okay, guys, so Pokemon number five just spawned in. Which is a Pidgey, but I already have a Pidgey Odo. So, unless this ha yeah, it's a really low CP too, so there's really no point in catching it. So, let's just go ahead and uh, catch it for the XP. And then I'm probably gonna uh, transfer it to get some. Um, I think I get some candy, Pidgey candy. So, I got it. Pidgey was cut. Gives me three Pidgey candy. Uh, 100 XP for the Pokemon caught. Okay. And yeah, it's only 23 CP. Let me go ahead and show you all my Pokemon real quick. Pokemon, and I have uh, 20... Yeah, let's go ahead and transfer this guy right here. Just caught him. Let's go ahead and transfer him to the Professor. Got a Pidgey Candy from the Professor. So I got, I got Oddish, which I caught in this video. Clefairy caught in this video. And I got two Vino Nats. I got a Scyther, a level... Or a 102 CP Eevee. And then I got, is this, okay, there's my Pidgeotto 103 CP, but pretty much all these are low CP right now because the majority of these Pokemon have only been caught through Incense, and it seems like Incense doesn't give that high of a Pokemon CP, it doesn't really seem like that, so um, I will look up Lure Module videos after this video to see if Lure Modules actually give better Pokemon, but... I actually might wrap the video up shorter than I was expecting. I was expecting to like do like nine incense instead, but I might only get to like two or three because it seems like every time a uh, Pokemon pops up it takes about a minute, and the Pokemon pops up maybe uh, five times the incense. So if I catch like 15 Pokemon, that's three incense. It's gonna be like a 15 minute long video. So I think I'm gonna stop it maybe after two. Incense, I don't know, I guess we'll just see whenever it gets there, but I'm going to uh, pause the recording and wait for the next Pokemon to spawn in. Okay, so we got Pokemon number 6, and this is a Geodude, actually one of them that actually looks cool. So far, this is like the only Pokemon that looks cool. He does have a CP at 35, so he's not going to be very useful, but he is a Geodude, Geodude so um, there we go. We got a nice throw, and he's my first Geodude. So yeah, there we go, caught him. Gonna bring in some nice XP because that is my first Geodude. There we go. Got 610 XP. Got the 10 XP from the nice throw. Registered to Pokedex. There we go. Now we gotta wait for the next Pokemon. I don't think we're even gonna get a Pokemon though in the remainder of this instance. We might all just let you guys know when it happens. Okay, so the first incense is used up. I think I, I'm only going to use two incense this video. So let's go ahead and use incense number two, go to our items. And I took like a 30 minute to an hour break in between each incense. So since the last incense ended, it's been about 30 minutes to an hour. So we just used our second incense. Hopefully we can get some uh, better luck than we did with our last one. We, we got a decent amount of Pokemon, but their CPs were really low. And I'm really hoping to get some stronger Pokemon. Okay, so an Eevee just popped up. So let's go ahead and catch this Eevee. This isn't my first Eevee. I'm pretty sure it's not my first Eevee. And it's only a CP of 14. So pretty much just going to be useless just for Eevee candy. Missed the first Pokeball. I got plenty of Pokeballs, so it doesn't really matter if I miss once or twice. There we go. We caught it. Or at least I hit it. Let's see if we catch it. One, two... And third wiggle, alright, we we caught it. So, gotcha, there we go. Eevee was caught. 100 XP, 110 XP actually, because I got a curveball. That's what I was talking about right there, the curveball. And three Eevee candy. How many Eevee candies do I have now? 
that makes nine Eevee candies. So I think if I catch one more, I can evolve a Eevee this video. So let's just go and wait for the next Pokemon to come. Okay, so another Pokemon popped up, and there's actually a Pokemon before this Eevee. It was a Bell Sprout, and I don't have a Bell Sprout yet. And I, but I didn't catch it because I actually just walked, like right when I walked into my room, I saw it on the screen. And as soon as I got over the computer to uh, click it to actually catch it, it like it disappeared. So apparently I didn't just I didn't I I didn't make it. I wasn't there fast enough. So anyway, that's two Pokemon already that um, I missed. Two Pokemon that I didn't catch just because I was too late. Like I saw the Pokemon both times, but I didn't click it in time. So yeah, pretty disappointing, but. Plenty of Pokemon left, plenty of incense left, no worries, I'm sure I'll get a Bell Sprout and um, a Caterpie. Both of those are the Pokemons that I missed out on. Hopefully I can get those by the end of the video. We got 18 minutes left in the second incense, and I think this is going to be my last incense for the video. And I'll do maybe a Let's Play tomorrow just because of how many incense I'll have. I'll do another incense video tomorrow. Okay guys, so we got a bigger Pokemon. This is either a Pidgeotto or a Pidget. We got a Pidgeot. Or a Pidgeot. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Either it's a Pidgeot or a Pidgeot. But uh, it's only 28 CP. But it's going to save me evolving my Pidgeotto. So definitely worth catching. I guess this one can dodge it. I guess because it's rare. Alright. I'm not even going to try. There we go. I think I caught it. I think I caught it. Hopefully it doesn't break out. One. Two. Three. There we go. I caught it. That's actually pretty exciting to catch that. It saves me from evolving my Pidgeotto. There we go. Register that to the Pokedex. Okay. And there we go. Got a Pidgey, Pidgeotto, and a Pidgeot now. There we go. I got nine Pidgey candies right now to power him up. So, congratulations. You earned a medal. Catch ten flying type Pokemon. Pretty cool. Alright, I'll be back whenever the next Pokemon comes. Okay, so now I think we got uh, Paris. Let me go ahead and click it. There we go. Yeah, Wild Paris has appeared. Don't know if this is my first one or not. 59. Yeah, this is my first one, but it has 59 CP, which I think is better than my last one. Let's go ahead and catch it. There we go. I think that caught it. There we go, caught it, bringing in 100 XP, and I think it's a higher uh, CP than my last one. Let's see, 59 CP, let's go ahead and check. So that Paris is 59. Yeah, my last one was 11, so definitely higher. Let's go ahead and transfer him. Yeah, transfer to the Professor, get me another Paris candy, and now let's go ahead and wait for... The last Pokemon I'm assuming that will be in the video. Okay, so here we got a uh, Nidoran, I think it is. Yeah, Nidoran. So this is going to be, I think, the last Pokemon in the video. Don't think I'm going to be able to catch another Pokemon in the last couple minutes of the incense. Let's go and catch it. I think because he was yawning, it didn't count. Because that, that, that definitely hit him. So there we go. Caught him. Assuming. He's only a CP of 10. So he should be really easy to catch. And so far, my theory is true that like incense just gives really low cp but what i do got to find out is if lure modules give a higher cp and i messed up by buying incense instead of buying lure modules got 10 poison type pokemons but um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and wait out this incense to see if it is the last one like if there's gonna be any more pokemon or not if there is going to be more Pokemon, then I'll go and catch Pokemon and then do my outro. But if not, I'll just go and do my outro after the instance is up. Okay, guys, so no more Pokemon came in the last two minutes. Let's just go ahead and recap the all the Pokemon that we caught in the video. Um, wrong thing, alright. Pokemon. I know we caught the Pidgeot. We caught the Nidoran, Paris. Two Eevees, I think. Geodude. Weedle, Oddish, Clef and Clefairy. I think that's it for this video. But yeah, next video I'll do the same thing too. 
um, incense, but I think I'll speed it up a little bit and do three incense instead of two incense. Again, um, if this video gets 50 likes, instead of doing incenses, I'll actually go outside and, you know, walk around and find Pokemon and Pokestops and make it a lot more interesting. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button, and if you have not done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.